We only just had this room cleaned yesterday. Look at it. Look at it. Ah. Rose petals, towels, booklets, half eaten strawberries. Also, don't don't eat yellow snow. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, this door's been busted down. This? It has been kicked down before. Do you not remember last night? That's why. Why did they kick it down? Is it because of fire and it smells so bad that you told security to come off it? Thought so. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Oh. In Amsterdam. Oh, damn, what have you forgot? I don't think I need to drink. Is it the penis lollipop? Yep. Okay, I don't think so either. It is indeed the first day in Amsterdam, I believe, that it's been not raining or grey. Yeah, we all just yeah. stepped outside. Yeah, and we have only just stepped outside Don't at a whopping 2pm. What should we have done today? We should have got bikes to cycle. Oh, good. My old... I think it's where do you get them from? Like, there has to be rental places like in London. There is. Hmm. So what immediately got my attention was the gay socks. But then I realised they've got Donald Trump socks. Nice. Wait, what? Fuck you socks. Yeah. yeah. I like this sock shop. Well, going by canal though, it's pretty cool. We might do that later on. But oh my lord, horse and carriage. Oh, that. It's a very fluffy horse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like it's a super fluffy horse. Oh my lord, look at that go. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ha 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 ha. They thought I was French. Wrong. Amsterdamian. <laughs> I come all the way to Amsterdam and what have you seen? What have you Defender. seen? Defender. Ah, oh, yes. Defenders assemble. Yeah, what does it say on the side of it? Let's try and pronounce this. Rain Arari, Traitor, Delsikens, and Catering. <laughs> It's a catering company. Fuck yeah! Defenders assemble. I get it. It's the delivery company for the. Oh, it smells delicious. Look, that logo is on that window, and they sell carrots. That well. That's the guy who owns the van. Defenders assemble. So oh, many bikes. Oh my lord! Look at them. They're absolutely everywhere. Manim chief. So I think we've made it to our. De yep. This is it. This is where we're going. Where are we going? Food. Continue the name. Harlan. Food Harlan. We're going to the food Harlan. Which apparently, I think it's like a place where we went into Manchester where it's just like a massive, actually even looks like it. Like it's just like a massive, massive open area with loads of different foods inside. So let's check it. Amsterdam. Mmm. 20 minute walk. And we have made it. Uh, what does that mean? And a food Harlan. This is what we're looking for. Food Harlan. Ta da. Is this what you're looking for? Nice, big, loads of, oh yeah, oh, pam ham. Loads of different restaurants all around the side. You just eat in the middle, communal eating. Look at it, so much food. Oh, look at that dog. Look at that hot dog. Oh, that sounds good. It's a pretty dope little dim sum place. Some, something deep fried. E -e -e -e. Something different. I like it. I've come full circle and I think I'm definitely going for bacon and chips, dog. Pork, classic mustard sauce, bacon and chips. I don't know if it's that one or not, but I want it. Turns out that is not. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. That is not the dog I was talking about. That's actually the dog of the month. Look at it. Oh, that looks good. I am seriously getting into trying my different types of beers. I've gone for an Eichwit or whatever you want to call it. I don't even care if it's not. I don't. I don't. Oh, hello. Very nice to bump into you. There you go, bumping into people in Amsterdam. But I don't know where it's from, all I know is that it looks gorgeous and I'm gonna love it. Oh, it smells good as well. Mm. Good looking breakfast. Yeah, literally, I had no breakfast. This is my breakfast, dinner and, I don't know, brunch? Everything you want to call it, nearly 20 past three. What is this? Where'd you get this from? What? Where'd you smuggle this from? Wow, that is good. Fucky, no. I'm pretty sure that's cilantro. I hope it's not, but I think it is. I think it's just thyme or something like that. It's a green leaf and I don't like it. As for my uh, my beer. Ooh. Very nice. Very, very nice. My hot dog was very nice. Uh, I'd probably give it like an 8.5 out of 10. I haven't tried the corn on the cob, so I'm full, and I just don't want to. Got ourselves some ramen. That looks like a good broth. Does it taste good? Yes. Ooh, the Harlan was interesting. However, as soon as you walk out of it, you've got this nice little market section area, which smells amazing. I don't know what it is, where it's coming from, but it smells good. What the fuck? 
Oh yeah, oh shit, turn round. This guy's this guy's today. Wearing a syndicate shirt, bro. Very nice to meet you. How are you doing, lads? That's a fun thing to meet you here. Oh, very nice to meet you as well. Dude, he's rocking one of my shirts all the way in Amsterdam. Awesome. What the fuck? Lydia's found more food yet again. Even more. That was so awesome to bump yeah, into those guys. What is it? Mini pancakes? Yeah. Wait, it says free. Free glue vine? Is that what it says? Free glue vine? Hell yeah, with mini pancakes. They're truly showing us UK people at the European markets how much we get ripped off. Because we usually pay £3.50 for a glue vine and like £3.50 as well for mini pancakes. Instead, one euro. Like, Is it being, actually one euro? I think you're being kind when you say £3.50. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like £3.50 for glue vine and then like £2, two pound for the mug. Yeah. yeah. Whereas here you get free glue vine and mini pancakes for one euro. Yes. Let us. You get seven. <laughs> Mini pancakes for one euro and free glue van and a slab of butter right and a slab of butter. <laughs> Is that nice? One euro, one euro, one pancake, one pancake left. But we've got seven pancakes and a glue van, mate. We are coming back in next year. I'm telling you. And. This became pretty obvious now. We, when we walked out the food hall, I bumped into three people. I was like, mm, this is a bit suspect that people just happen. But the entire time we've been here, I bumped into no one from Amsterdam, just people from like other countries and stuff like that. But then someone just saw us stood there and he came over and was like, hey, I saw your tweet saying you were in the food hall. Like when I post photos, most of the times I'm not actually at the place where I've taken the photo. I'm usually like at home in bed and then I post the photo. So um, it's nice that I bumped into him, but just a heads up, if I usually post a photo, I'm not actually in that place. I, I, I do that so I just post it another time. So if you ever go looking for me, I'm not there. I'm sorry. I apologize. Time to see your funny walk. Go. Welcome to the Ministry of Silly Walks. Go. <laughs> Everyone's going to think we're on drugs. What? That's just, that's just running. Your turn. There's something in my eye. You just look like a chicken that needs to like poo. I'm not with him. It'd take me a long time to get everywhere. <laughs> Different silly walk. Are you just kicking your bomb? Yours is boring. Gonna do a bit of a. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, so. So it's like five o'clock, it's getting there, it's going dark. What is this? How was Food Holland rate this? Google just popped up asking me if I'd like to rate it. He, he was doing his, he couldn't see it. He was in front of us going. Anyway, right, we're looking for, by the way, just, I need to clarify. Clarify. Not one drug was taken this entire trip. Oh. Uh, I know. Everyone yesterday, when we, well, to be honest, it did look like we were high when you were putting grapes in my mouth. It's just funny. Everyone was like, they're so high, look like at them. We're high when we're doing silly walks as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah, uh, no joke. Literally, we're do, not care, do not care about partaking in the drugs. If I did, I'd just put it in the vlog and show you guys because it's legal here, but just not interested. Take it as you want. But anyway, we're going to continue our silly walks. <laughs> I thought I nearly need you in the face then. Fuck. Team coffee. We're gonna get a hot chocolate, pagoni, patoni. That in English was two hot chocolates to go. Oh, I am, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I was told you to put my finger up the nose, whatever. Oh, that is a lot of cream. It's a lot of whipped cream. It's a lot of whipped cream. You get, look at you in the zone right now. You're like, yes. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'll be like saying choose of our adios. Yes, please. That's some good whipped cream. Well, the Chinese kid was looking right at me. I said, bonjour, and he looked straight through me. Don't think he spoke French. All right, so that was a nice little hot chocolate from the coffee company. Cheers. Yeah. What cream's good. Did you get any chocolate? Mate, I didn't get any. That, in, that entire pour, I didn't get a single bit of hot chocolate. Right the back. Yo. I got through to it, the chocolate. Oh my God, that's good. Oh Have you tried it yet? No. Mmm. Mmm. Seriously I good. I can't get it yet. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> We've made our way to Diagon Alley in, in Amsterdam. Mm. Look at this. Absolutely little beautiful spot. And I found this. Birke, Birke, the leaky golem. <laughs> that's pretty good. I really want to go in there. But it's 
seriously full, so. Nope. You can wear whatever you want to wear. And if you want to wear those, those, or those, I am going to judge you, but accept your decision. Uh, the pink things. You look like Lady Penelope. Dear Mr. Cassell, as requested, I have arranged a Michelin star restaurant reservation for you tonight at the fabulous Bridges in Sofitel. Uh, the Grand Hotel. It's located at. at. Ujdiz Vulvogar 197, which is about a 10 minute walk from the hotel. They're expecting you, a party of two, with the name Cassell at 2030 on Saturday, the 6th of January. Where's she going? We got ourselves some dinner reservations, yo! <laughs> That means we need to go shoe shopping for Lydia so she can wear some shoes. Ah. Meanwhile, I sleep. <laughs> Did you enjoy hiding? Not exactly advertised too well, but the sex museum. I obviously won't be able to show you much of the sex museum, but here's an example of the sort of stuff you can see. Really creepy, horny dudes. What was happening? Um, the chairs go like this. I think I'm being violated. It says 380 volts behind you. Oh shit, weren't weird enough. We just got to the Japanese section. This is like 1900s or whatever. Geishas. And they've got like geishas being a mounted by octopuses and monkeys and yeah. Oh, and a horse bending a woman over there. Yeah, I really can't film any of this. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not even going to film what this guy does. You can take a guess. Have you found the perfect crown for my, my throne? Yeah. It needs, oh. to be, it needs to be split, it needs to be platinum. Platinum? Oh, to match. Okay, okay. Let's take a look in here then. What does it say? Welcome, not for basic people, we only sell fancy stuff. Ooh, the supreme money machine, barber clipper thing. Um, I want to say a bike lock breaker, but I don't know what to say it is. It actually is. Bolt cutters. Nice. I like that a lot. I don't care about supreme, but I just like the idea of Tony Montana being on a skateboard. That's dope. And all this is way too expensive. This is, this is way too hype for us. I don't think this is actually from the car company Bugatti. However, they bejeweled the shit out of a coffee machine and it's now called Bugatti Italy. Feel what? Would you like me to wear some... Uh... Oh, they're so soft, oh my god. For 120 euros, I think it fucking better be. I'm so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Would you rather I not wore that? Oh yeah, I'm not, no, 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 no. Sour and pepper time. Wait, what does this say? In, look closely in the mirrors, sensor lighting. Pretty sure the light's already on, but whatever. I actually really want that. I don't want to pay that much money for it, but I really want a clock like that. Oh, it does turn. Oh, that is just beautiful. That is so like sleek and sophisticated. I really like that. Got it, got it. See, it does actually chime. Go on, pop it, oh, yeah, oh, oh. This doesn't make sense. It's only like 20 past seven or something. It's not even on the hour. <laughs> what does this mean? Happy now? Are yeah. you happy now that you finally got a what? A stroop waffle, whatever it is. Non-stop for the past like 15 minutes. I want a stroop waffle. I'm like, you'll get one. Mm. Is it good? Really? No. But it's even nicer knowing you're happy. Mm. No. Fresh, 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 fresh. Fresh, 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 non-iron shirt, fresh. I said, my lady, looking fresh. I said, my lady, are you ready? No. I said, my lady, are you ready yet? No. I said, my lady, are you not ready yet? No. I said, are you not ready yet? No, I'm not. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Tried to trick you. Mm. I'd like to point out a problem with this room. It says 226 on the wall, because the decorator was like, oh, this is room 226. Uh, let me just show you something. 227. Wrong room. Sorry, mate. You tried and you failed. Ooh, slay, slay. Work it, work it in the maze. Work. Hey, Lydia, you want to get back in the, uh, do you want to get back in the, uh, time if you want. the tray thing? For what time? Okay, uh, yeah, of course we do. Yep, 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 sure. Next stop, Bridges. Oh, you're not going to every day because I've got the same coat on. But you're just going to have to treat yourself to a new coat, aren't you? This will just have to be your wintery coat. Yeah, and I'm going to need a rainy coat, coat 
and a summer coat. No, it just needs to be And then a coat alcohol. for coats. But Tom doesn't let me I ever like bring luggage. You can fit enough in your bag. Plus, there's extra space in mine. You didn't tell me that. But whatever. No, oh, it's so bloody lovely at night. Just look at this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, the restaurant we're supposed to be going down to should be down here on the left. We're only running about 10 minutes late. But with places like this, they can be dead finicky. Finicky. Finicky? Finicky. They can be finicky. 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 finicky so we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully the black is fine. I'll be like, oh, we got harassed by prostitutes <laughs> who talked to us about museums and shit. So, did you? Oh my God, the smell. That's the first proper coffee shop that we've walked past. That's no, been like died. one full and two. We may have just got contact high of walking past there. <coughs> wow. All right, so this is Bridges. Fingers, fingers crossed. It's not completely full and we can still make it in. If not, oh, my lady. Always open the door for a woman. We made it, we made it. Nailed it. Do you even need to rush? What fancy restaurant? We're trying to work out which nice, which Michelin star restaurants we've been to. If we could have got to that three star Michelin restaurant, it would have been great, but a three week waiting list for it. Nah. When you go to fancier restaurants, the food portions just get smaller. That's the math behind it, basically. So you got like black mushrooms. Oh yeah, not, not, a, not a clue. Not a clue. Not a, yeah, don't have a clue. Blackened mushroom, and then this is, I almost, it's beetroot with Oh really? Well, I paid attention. I'm gonna try mm. this one. Ooh, spongy. Wow, that is, smells strong. Mm. That, whoa. The sauce on top is potent, but the, the bread is almost like a muffin and it's nice. And for the beetroot infused celery. Don't get on your sock. Nope. You know how I feel about celery. You love it? No. I don't like celery. Don't like it. Oh, it's dripping. Oh. Is it sweet? But sour. Pretty mixed opinion, to be honest. All right, let's do this. Why is it? What the hell? A light strobing in the room. Okay, go for it. Celery 101. It, hey, listen, it's not an oyster. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Stuff. Trust me. I believe in you. And the survey says three, two, one. Don't sniff it. <laughs> if you don't like vinegar, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I swear. You. Got, I don't know why it's strobing. Oh, go on. Go on, that girl. Down the hatch. It's not that bad. It's pretty flavorless. <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, I ordered a. Jameson and Coke, I got a bloody pint glass. Look at the size of that thing. Right, go on. <laughs> I told you, I told you you were gonna do that. This isn't even part of the main meal, you just, <laughs> just hate these This is Dubai all over again. <laughs> See, I told you, crunchy. Thoughts? It's not that bad, is it? Oh, yep. Oh, what mine, and Lyd mine and Lydia's what face. She just walked over and she was like, here's an oyster. I don't actually think it's an oyster. It I think is it's an something. Oyster. Is it? Yeah. With cucumber, ginger, and lime. Me and Lydia don't have good track records with oysters. You know, this is the time to insert the clip. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, if I can remember to edit it in, you'll see a pretty amazing clip of Lydia trying to eat a lot of an oyster in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia. You can do this, you can do this. It's so fucking intimidating. Wasting caviar. About 100 quid. <laughs> I don't know if it's like spoon it like this. Ready? Wait, you're supposed to swallow it in one there. I'll chew it. <laughs> Not this again. Don't start laughing. <laughs> Why is that laugh? Wait, ready? <laughs> I is watering, but oh my god, that is good. Is it? No joke, I swallowed it all in one. As she comes back, it's like, it's not even an oyster, you're supposed to chew it. You've ruined the flavour. That is amazing. What? 
I think it's in like soy sauce or something. It's nowhere near as big anyway. Is it ginger? Yeah, in, in a Dubai, the oysters were like that big. That big. This one never was like that big. But like, honest to God, the ones in Dubai, you saw the clip. <laughs> Fucking killed us. Right, your turn. And the survey Did says... You use this to glide? Yep, to glide it in. Oh, Tom, mine's miles bigger than yours. That is much bigger than mine. <laughs> You're, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Did you swallow the cucumber hole? A whole thing. I don't know if you're supposed to do that because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to chew cucumber, but whatever. Lydia steps up to the plate. The oyster must be defeated. <laughs> no, stop. Don't laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you said dislodge it. That's clearly a fake oyster. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Make sure you get rid of loosen it. Okay, thanks. Go on. Oh, I didn't even mess around with me. Mine went straight down the hatch. You You've done this plenty of times. Plenty of times. You'll well enjoy it as well. It's really nice. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm psyching myself out really okay. bad. How'd you do it? It's like a shot of water. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Alright, take, take two, go. <laughs> you're not even drinking, you're drinking water. <laughs> Commit to the cause. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. So, let me get my pint of uh, Jameson. I actually thought it was very tasty. I'd have another one. Is it gonna, it's not going to get stopped. No. Okay. Too small. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Thoughts? <laughs> We're professionals at doing this. We're so good. Tastes good? It's so slippy. Oh, for God's sake. Did you? Yeah, you ate. I'm just making sure you actually ate it. Nice. I didn't leave anything behind. I did. Oh, did. I did. Cilantro. Cilantro. I tell you what, the camera on this phone is absolutely immense. It looks so good. Have you tried it yet? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. The first scallop dish we got, that little oyster. start. Again? The oyster thing that we got. Every time I'd give in that. Dubai as well. Yeah, I kept saying scallop. <laughs> it's actually an oyster. That, that thing would have got a nine here because I thought it was so tasty, even though I like choked. This dish, Lydia gave it a three out of ten. I'd only give it about five. In in terms of restaurant, we're not exactly up to a great start, but we'll see how it goes. This is more better. More better. More better. Okay, we got like a weave, weave, weevil. Weaver fish. We got a weave fish. Weaver. Weaver fish. Weaver. Weaver. I said weaver the second said time. We got a weaver fish. We've got like some some stuffed squid. I don't know why the lines are going past on my camera. The lighting in here is kind of confusing. But that's what we've got. We demolished it. Demolished that. What are you, what are you, what are you giving it? What are you giving it? Seven. Seven? Because it always makes me sad when I like something and it's a dead tiny pool. Yeah, small amount of it's gone already. Well, you know what? I'm going to give that. And I, I, I liked it that much that I cleaned the plate. 8.9 for that dish. Thought it was very nice. Ooh, we got scallops up in here. I don't like, you know. What don't you like? Cold dishes. Yeah. Ciao. I'm not exactly a fan either. This looks good. This is cold. No, ah, I gotcha. You yeah, know, this looks really good. You wanted more sausage? Uh -huh. Oh, the actual, the ham on top, yeah. the salami. Um, you know what, that dish was nice. I'm not, I didn't like the fennel. Look at it. And I didn't like the cream underneath it. It was like mashed potato sort of thing with no flavor. Uh, I'd give it like a 6.5. Take three. I filmed this once in slow motion, it didn't work. <laughs> I heard you saying, what's that? Is it applesauce? Yeah. It is, isn't it? It goes from sour to sour to sour. Tastes more. Oh. Ugh. Scraping that off. Maybe it'll all taste nice to give up. This is pork belly, a banana chip, uh, Iberico meat, pork cheek. pork cheek, and then you've got like a risotto -y rice bed. Very nice looking dish, I must admit. Very small. Look at the size of my thumb compared it's to the dish. All, Very all, small. It's got all the things that we can never get at the. Um, Midland. The Midland, yeah, take that Midland. We've got it, but in small supply. Yeah, very true piece. <coughs> very nice dish. The sauce with it, they said, because uh, it was like any allergic things. Allergies, sorry. And I said like cilantro, and it turns out the sauce that they made coriander. has coriander cilantro in it. So the sauce could have gone with it, but I actually preferred it without the sauce, because the sauce to me was like bland, like pretty tasteless. It was a very nice dish, very meaty, so very like meaty and gamey. But then, gamey, ish. 
But then it had a banana slice in the middle of it, which made it dead sweet. It was dead nice. So you know what? I like it, but I'm only going to give it an eight on the dot. Eight on the nose, straight away. That's it. That's Fezzy Vive. What are you going to give it? Mm. 7.5. 7.5? Okay. Yeah, I liked it. I don't think it needed that sauce. I'm going to try it one more time. I think you like, you suit this way of eating. What? Like, little courses. I, I well prefer it. You eat so much more. Yeah, because rather than committing to one, yeah, honestly, it's like anything in life. If someone said to me, work out for like three hours straight, I'd go, no. But if they said, hey, do three minute workout here, and then you're like, that many workouts that work makes up that three hours, I'd be like, right, yeah, sure. Because I can just do it and do it and do it, because my mind doesn't go. I thought you were just going to say, I don't like to commit to one thing. I don't like to commit to long-term things. Is exactly what I said. So, uh, nice knowing you. Amsterdam, here I come. <clears throat> but like, I well prefer going into a meal and it being small and then just like a bunch of small dishes rather than like sitting down and you have to eat everything that's in front of you. It's like, it's just, it's just disheartening. It's like when someone says to me like, oh yeah, we're gonna go on a day out. And we're like, go walk in here and walk in there. And I don't know the, where the, when the final like destination or end to the trip is. It just keeps going and keeps going. I'm like, all right, okay. But if someone said to me at the start of the day, all right, we're about to go on like a 20 hour hike. I just go, no, my mind would not be in that. But like, nope, don't, don't care about it. I think it's like very ADHD short attention span sort of thing, but I don't have ADHD. So I don't really care. Just, it's just called the way of being Tom. The, ow, that was extremely hot for some reason. The hand of the plate is now presenting to us a duck breast with foie gras, um, Adolpa poop, some celery key thingy. Celeriac. Yep, celeriac, thank you. And some onions and some cauliflower. Looks quite nice. I love sweets, I don't care for dessert that much. I'm gonna give the duck an eight. Man, dessert looking good. It's a snowball they described it as with apple inside it. Apple sorbet? Mm. That might be wrong, but apple something inside, but it's white chocolate like snowball with something prickly pear or spiky pear. Yeah, I didn't really listen to what she said, but it looks good, okay, thanks. Um, is it just me or is my flash really warm? <laughs> it's, it's why is it orange? My flash is, is it gonna explode or something? Why is it, it's not the color of that candle. But yeah, that very, very thick, rich, intense dessert. Can't even finish it, man. Oh, come on. Very, very heavy dessert. Very heavy dessert. It's got like a cake on the bottom of it. All sorts going on with it, but I think that's me. Done for the night. Get the dessert about, mm, I'd say six. It's getting six off me. It's nice, loads of flavors, but too much going on. And yes, I am a professional food raider. Laugh for Tom. Mm -hmm. Well, we went in one door and we're going out the other. Oh. Oh, I wanted to push it. Hello, Hello my queen. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. That was very nice. I did enjoy it, but I'm leaning. Mm -hmm. I'm giving, oh, <laughs> you know, we're not drunk. We're drinking water the last part of the night. Um, shout out to the lions. Uh, if I had to give it a, re a rest, it's a Mitchell style restaurant. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, I think I'd have to go on 7.9. I want to ask you a question. Go on. Serious question. Go on. Michelin star restaurant, Bridges. Yeah. Or KFC. Uh, Michelin star restaurant, because it, it's the experience I like. Interesting. It's experience. Hey, like, it's a Christmas tree. It is a Christmas tree. Uh, God, it smells like weed. <laughs> Bloody hell. But no, it's it was, it's a very nice experience, but I'm going to give it a 7.9. I think that's the lowest I've given a Michelin restaurant. But it was nice to experience what Amsterdam's style and taste had to offer. What are you going to give it? 7.5. Ooh, even lower. Damn. I loved it though. Yeah, very nice though. And uh, that's a very high stoner shop right there. Shops, that's the place to go apparently. And uh, yeah, yep, yep. I totally forgot the key. I tried to give you a key, but you were like, I'll lose it, I'll lose it. So what did I do? Okay. You always do I it lose at least it. once. Hey. Hey. I do. We're trying to think of where we want to go next. And we're definitely talking somewhere with sun, sea, and rock and roll. Maybe not the rock and roll, just sun and sea. <laughs> just sun and, and sea and snorkel. Triple S, sun, sea, snorkel. We are thinking Maldives. Maldives, we're coming for you. If not, Cayman Islands. Go on, top right corner. Go on. Open it.
<laughs> Did I get you? Did I get you? <laughs> oh, oh. What the fuck? I made it. Oh god, I want one. She punched the phone into my face. Can we clarify I didn't actually hit you at all? You lost the game, okay? <laughs> Abusive. Look, this black eye says you are. Wait, I'll send you a Snapchat. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. Bitcoin, yo. It's the future. Ooh. New dawn, new day. It's currently. Mm -hmm. Nearly half past nine. Me and Lydia fly out of Amsterdam at half past twelve. Nice wake up music. We were up till about 5 a.m. last night because I just had like, you know like when you have an idea and it's like, this is the idea, this is like a big idea. I just got super carried away with working on the idea and like Lydia couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep. So we ended up working on the idea together. It wasn't until it got to like, make sure no one's in the elevator and this is awkward, we're okay. It wasn't until it got to like 5 a.m. that it was like, maybe we should go to, go to sleep. Um, it wasn't until 5am Lydia decided that she was so giddy that she weren't going to sleep and I ended up just passing out and she stayed awake so I'm not too sure what time she went to bed at but I'm exhausted and what I haven't done yet in this hotel is have breakfast in it so I'm going to go now, have breakfast in it and in tomorrow's vlog you'll get to see what the breakfast at this place is because I actually got out of bed like earlier than 2pm for once so thanks for watching, leave a like button, subscribe, ding dong that notification bell and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6pm for the next daily vlog. Asadios.